Hello everybody. Today we are making Elvis Presley bread. All that is, is banana nut bread with peanut butter. So we're going to first start out by mashing a couple bananas and adding a couple ingredients to it. Because Elvis Presley was known for one thing besides dancing, rock and being the father of rock and roll. He was known for eating fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. So what are the use of this? Of all those, well, you had gone through some of my knickknacks I got from grandma and you noticed uh, them. I am young. And uh, you said, is uh, this antique or not? How? Yes, they are over 20 years old. They've been in guys. my possession for over 20 years. So, see, thoroughly mashed bananas. So, it's a couple bananas, an egg, half a cup of oil. So, I use my quarter cup, measuring cup right here. We're going to use two different cups of oil, or kinds of oil. Or we're going to use sesame seed oil, a quarter of a cup. Always uh, measure over something, that way you don't make a mess. That way you don't have to, so, why lots of oil? It's just what the recipe calls for. It is a half a cup. And we are using two different cups of kinds of oil. So we're using a quarter cup. So if you want to split the cut the recipe in half. Why two different? Two different kinds. Uh -uh. Well, it asks for uh, vegetable oil. We're using uh, sesame seed oil and uh, olive oil. Olive oil is good and healthy for you. Sesame seed oil just has a different flavor. Well, that's, that's why we used it in our last bread of um, a zucchini bread. It asks for uh, one and a half cups of flour. So, I said on top of the gel. Since it asks for one and a half, if you don't feel like dirtying your one cup measuring cup, all you're doing is getting it full. And if you use your half cup, that's just three half cup measuring cups full, right? That equals one and a half. You have old gems. Two old old gems. Two old old gems. Yeah, there? Yep. <laughs> okay, and then it asks for salt. It's right here. We'll measure it the same way as I did last time. Salt to taste. As for baking soda. You have a nice measuring spoon. Spoon. <laughs>
So, ganyan siya mag ano, measure. He's just using his hands. Oh, it's good. Uh, once you've cooked for a while, you figure that some of that stuff out. Yeah. That asks for a third of a cup white brown. You do not like using a full measuring a third of a cup, so we'll still use a third cup measuring cup, but we'll use sugar about half. Of white, white sugar. We'll use about the same of brown sugar. Mmm, not much. And then we'll make up the difference with honey. Okay? Okay. We watered down our honey because it was a little thick. We added a little bit of hot water to it. So, about the same amount. Honey. Ah. And then it is brown white sugar soda. Now we get to add a little bit of nuts, a little bit of peanut butter, and a couple other extra ingredients just to season the taste. Just like that, guys. We're gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. About a tablespoon, give or take. And because you add cinnamon, we're gonna add a little bit of cloves. That'll just give it a little bit different taste. And we're gonna add a splash of pure vanilla. And then we gotta add the peanut butter. Region peanut butter. Wow, that's a lot. Yes. Peanut butter's good for you. Mmm. Well, you're just happy I'm not adding cayenne pepper. <laughs> no cayenne. So. And then stir it all together. Then after that, it's done. Then we're gonna put it in the insta pot on um, pressure cook for about an hour, the same way we did the um, zucchini bread a week ago. And then all it is, is we're going to take, this is a two-part pan, it comes right apart. Snaps together. We're going to take our non-stick pan. How many bananas you... I used two. I had three over here. Two look like it's good enough. It'll give a good banana, strong flavor. You just want to coat your pan good with non-stick spray. And don't be afraid to take a finger, run around it, make sure it's nice and coated. If you're afraid to get dirty, you should not be in the kitchen. <laughs> and if you're in the kitchen, there's always a sink close by you can wash your hands with if you like. Now, the next question is Beverly, would you like some chocolate chips to put in your banana bread? Yeah. Okay, so let me open this up. We'll add one other ingredient, some chocolate chip cookies. How about chips. mix? Well, we already got peanut butter in it. Ah, okay. So, we got peanut butter. I've got so, just a few more. Siya, guys. About Kanya half a yung cup. Ng banana bread. This is banana nut bread, but banana we're going to call it bread. Elvis Presley bread because we added peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we asked the assistant cook what she liked. If she wanted to add chocolate chips to it, she said yes. 
is thoroughly mixed. You just funnel it right on in. Last time we used the blender. This time we did not, so it's a little thicker. You don't want to over mix because it will not turn out the same. And since we're going to be using the Instapot, this will come out very creamy or very moist. Just try to put it somewhat even going around. That way you have a nice even looking banana bread. Or how what we're gonna be calling this one is the Elvis Presley bread. Because it's the peanut butter banana. With a little bit of chocolate chip for a twist, along with a little bit of cinnamon and uh vanilla here in a little over an hour we'll have Beverly taste it see what it tastes like see if you approve of the changes to the recipe Does where are you going to cook that I'm gonna cook it in the instapot not oven not oven So it ends the pot, lemon foil, just lightly, make sure it fits, so it don't look like it's going to fit easy, just fold the edges to where it will fit, but you want it lightly put in, you're going to want the, this thing right here. And the mistake I made last time is you set it on here, you fold it up. That is how you set it in there. So, we're, gonna, we're now we're getting ready to unveil the king bread, the Elvis Presley bread. Okay, that's dance. It could use it. It's Elvis Presley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here it is, guys. Ito yung ginawa niya kanina. What you call that? Banana nut bread? Yes, but we added peanut butter to it, so it's king bread. Ayan siya, guys. And I'll just have to cut a small piece out for it to fit. <laughs> Ayan. Try. Small piece. How is it? I think it's good. It's a little different. You can taste the touch of chocolate we added to it. You can taste the slight hint of peanut butter. You can taste the banana. And you cannot taste the cinnamon, very strong, or the nutmeg. So, Please like, share, comment, ring the notification bell so you can get notifications, and follow us on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. Please, thank you.